Well, today I'm going to do a piano lesson on the Faith No More song, Epic. I'm just going to teach you the piano outro because I'm not completely sure what the rest of the song is. I know there's keyboards in the whole song, but I'm not completely sure of that part. So today I'm just going to teach you the piano outro. And this is the first piano lesson request I'm going to be doing from my piano lessons video. So if you did post a comment on that video, I'm still working on using the sans, so I'm still trying to learn the sans. But since I already knew the san, I was going to do a lesson on this song first. So this song's a really easy song to play. And first of all, I'm going to teach you the bass part, and it's four notes. So it's really easy. And all you have to do is alternate between the E note and the B note. down to the C note and the G note and you're going to alternate between those two notes. And you just repeat that for the whole song. So that is the bass part to the song, now I'm going to teach you the solo part to it. Okay, now I'm going to teach you the solo part. And middle C is here. And you're going to start off on this E. So it goes E, G, B. And then you're going to play a chord. And the chord is E, G, B, and this D. So it's the E minor chord, and then you just add this D. And then you're going to go and you're going to play the G note here. And then you're going to play A and then B. And then you're going to go down to a B flat and then an E. G D and then you're going to go C B C so it's C B C then you're going to go B A B A so it's B A B A and then you're going to play G and then it's going to go back to the regular part so that's how you play the whole song. And the only thing that changes in the song is the first time when you play this B flat, the second time you play in high E. So instead of playing B flat, you play the high E the second time. So the first time you play this, and then the second time you play the E instead. And then you just repeat that for how many times you're going to play the song. So if you play the song four times, the first time it's going to be B flat, second time it's going to be E, and then B flat, and then E. So that's the only thing that changes in the song, though. Otherwise, it's all the same. And then the only thing that is different is the ending. And I don't play the ending exactly the same. All I do at the ending is I play an E minor chord, and I just play it at different octaves. So I play an E, G, B, and then I actually add this D, and then I just go do the same thing until I run out of octaves on my keyboard. So it's going to sound like this. So that's what I play for the ending. It's not exactly the same, but that's the solo part. So now I'm going to play the whole song so you can hear how it sounds. Mm -hmm. 